What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Tech Enthusiast channel. In today's video, I will show you how to upgrade Windows 11 experience completely for free. The program that we will use to change our taskbar and also the start menu is called Start All Back. And here on the welcome screen, you have the three presets or three looks of your start menu and also the taskbar. You have the Windows 11 look, Windows 10 look and also Windows 7 look. So let me show you this one, the first, the Windows 10 look and then the Windows 7 look. It looks like that. All these are just the presets. Then if you go want to go in depth settings, for example, the start menu settings, here you can change visual style. For example, currently set on default, but you can also set it to the plain 8th. It looks something like that. And also you can select Windows 7 one and it looks something like that. Then you can also change icon size, icon count as well. Then you have under all programs, you have used large icons and many other settings as well. And then you can also here um, don't display or link or show in the menu all these folders and also these apps from the Windows 11. Then on the power button you can select the action that for example let's say the lock your computer or something else as well. Then on the taskbar you have the visual style. For example currently set on default which is Windows uh, 11 preset. Then you have the plain 8th it looks something like that and also Windows 7 and it looks something like that. Then you have also these um, Windows orbs at the bottom left. Here you select from the Windows 7 to the Windows 8 to this one which I think is a quite green one. It's, it looks something like that. Then you also have the tweak behavior and superpowers. So for example this is a great feature from start all back which will enable us to uh, never uh, hide uh, the labels and it has the look from Windows 10 once again. So this is something that this uh, program also adds uh, some back, uh, back functionality from Windows 10 as well. Then you also have the centered task icons. You can also do that and also show the segments only. So it looks something like that at the moment. Then you also have the dynamic transparency. So here you have also standard task uh, icons, which you can also separate from the uh, start menu. So you only have the running programs in the middle and then on the left you have the start menu. And also you have the seg segment, so you have just the central segment or just up to three segments. And it looks quite nice in my opinion, something like that. Then in, under Explorer, you have the, these settings to apply to the new Windows. So you have Windows 11 command bar, Windows 10 Ribbon UI, and also Windows 7 command bar. Then make it top under uh, make it top notch settings. You have the classic context menu. So the default Windows looks it, it looks something like that. But if I enable this uh, setting right here, it looks uh, from the classic context menu. So basically the setting from Windows 10. Then under advanced, you can change the uh, color of your taskbar and uh, start menu by using the custom colors. Uh, let's say you have here the red one and you will click OK. And here, let's say I will select here the green one. Uh, it will look something like that. And as you can see, we have the green um, uh, taskbar as well. Then under tweak window settings, you have use new font for classic UR. So for the classic UI of the Windows, you can also use the new font and also the about section. Here you have the check updates, but this program is only uh, for 30 days left. So for example, you can also use Open Shell, but unfortunately Open Shell uh, doesn't get so regularly updated as the, this program and this one works just fine. Another great program is called Files or File Manager for Windows and you can get it completely for free on Microsoft Store. So this is the brand new File Explorer alternative to the uh, official Windows 11 uh, File Explorer. It looks something like that and in my opinion it looks better than the official one. So here on the top left, the, uh, in my opinion this is the main selling point of this application is that it has tabs support. So let's say if I go to the pictures, here we have the tabs. As you can see, it looks something like that. So we also have the vertical tab layout as well. So this is another great addition to this program. 
Then we also have these, as you can see, we have a lot more options uh, to actually cover. So for example, as you can see, I have two windows open right here in this um, file manager. Then if I go to the settings, right, or let's say right here on the top right, we have the manage, manage widgets. So these are the this widgets at the bottom right here. So you have the show folder widget. I can disable this one right here. So these are the folders, the drives. So these are the drives and also the bundles. Then you also have the show recent files as well. Um, if I, as you can see here, we have another instance right here. So you can also have these uh, options as, ha as well, and you can also resize uh, them as you can see. Uh, then you also have the new window option uh, or close the pane. So I closed every pane right here. So it looks like the default uh, option right here, or you have the enter the compact overlay. So this is the um, compact overlay, as you can see, it looks something like that. Here in the settings, you also have some options. So um, your color or on the, on the startup, you have the options to open a new tab or open a folder in a new tab. Then you ha have also some preferences right here or the sidebar. Uh, multitasking also have, as you can see, as I told you er earlier, this is the uh, to have the display the vertical tab uh, file on the title bar. So these are the these um, vertical tabs right here. Um, then you also have the multitasking options files. You can also enable some settings right here. So, however, on under experimental uh, features, you have uh, an option to set files as default file explorer. So you can set these application. Um, for your default file explorer. However, this is very risky because it will modify uh, some registry keys and uninstalling the, this application will not under those changes. But, so I don't recommend that option. Another great application for upgrading our Windows 11 experience is called Modern Flyouts. And you can also get it from Microsoft Store completely for free. And it's also made from Sam G. Here I have it open right here. You have an option to run it at startup. You have also the option for the system language. Then you have the default flag. Here you can select Windows Flyout. So this is the default look of the Windows uh, Flyout. Then you have the modern flyouts, right? These are the modern flyouts. So for example, if you are, let's say, listening a song right now. So if I go to the internet and then I will go to the YouTube, uh, let's say we have the MKBHD video, right? MKBHD, we have the Marcus Brownlee video or uh, his website. I will go to the his YouTube channel. And let me, let's start, let's say this one. Let's say the Pixel 6 Pro unboxing. Here we have some uh, media playing right now. And let me show it the flyout right here. So if I select the option to change our value here. So here we have our um, option to uh, this brand new fly flyout right here. It looks quite better than Windows 11 one. So here we have uh, an option to pin it. So you can actually pin this flyout right here on the top left. Um, let me see one option right here. So in the settings, you have also the personalization option. So you have the flower theme, light and dark. The app theme, you have the light and dark. Then you also have top bar visibility. You have the auto hide option, visible or collapse. So if I enable auto hide right now and I change the our um, this uh, flyout or let's say volume, here it should actually auto hide right now. So as you can see right here, then you have also flyout background opacity. I can let's say select it to 50 and it will look something like that. So these are some neat features right here. So you have also option to show icon on system tray area. So this is this icon right here. You can disable this as well. So you have also used colored tray icon or fade animation as well. Then under layout, you have placement on your display right here and also the appearance. So you have set it to the auto up, down, left or right option. Uh, then you also have the flyout modules which in my opinion are also great option to customize your Windows 11 experience or to upgrade it. So we have the two uh, option modules for the audio, for the brightness, airplay mode, and also for the lock key. So that means that you will see these brand new flyouts when you changing all these um, settings uh, of the Windows.
Another great application is called Lively Wallpaper. So this wallpaper is mainly focused on your wallpapers, right? So you can download it from Microsoft Store and here I have it already running. And if I go to the app itself, the main app itself, here you have some presets of the application right here. So you can change or pick from various uh, wallpapers right here by your pre personal preference. On the top right you have the placement method of the wallpapers. Then you have also the option to customize the wallpaper. Here we have the amplitude of the wallpaper. So for example, something, something like that, it will look something like that. Then you also have the rainbow speed. So it will change um, a color um, uh, a bit faster, but you can also select whichever color you would like to. Uh, then you have an option right here to add your own wallpaper for, for example from their Reddit or let's say YouTube video and also MP4 video so you can select um, MP4 from your uh, disk right here. Then you also have the option to go to the settings of the application right here. I won't go through all of these settings because I also made a one specific in-depth video for uh, this program and I'll also put a link in video description down below So this is just my recommendation for this wallpaper application right here Another great addition to Windows um, Experience is to customize Windows cursor. So here am I on DeviantArt and here I chose Windows 11 cursors from set version 2 and here I usually download many of the cursors right here. Here is the simple arrow so you can get the file from this website and once you do, uh, get got this file then you will go to, to the uh, Dolan's um, folder and extract the zip file itself and also make sure that you have an actual account for uh, DeviantArt uh, because without one you won't be able to download from this website. So here am I in Dowland's folder, I extracted this file that I got from the DeviantArt or the cursor. So here I will go to the uh, folder itself, the extracted folder, yes. Uh, and here I will select the cursor, sir. So I like the dark version of the cursor, but you can also pick the light version. Then you will go to the dark uh, uh, folder right here. And then you will, you will search for the install file. So here we have the install file. You will right click on it, go to the um, more options. And here we have the install option. You will click on the install option right here. And then here you will click open and this should install this brand new cursor at the moment so here we also have an uh, open window most properties and here you will select this windows 11 cursors uh, dark version 2 so this is the theme that we just installed and then you, you will click apply you will click yes and okay and as you can see you have your brand new cursor up and running and with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I also forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that I will also put all the links to download all these files in video description down below, so make sure to check them out. With that said, if you haven't already, smack that subscribe button and also the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!